All right, guys, uh, last section of chapter 8. So we're going to solve rational equations. Now, if you look at the first type of example here, you have a rational expression or equal to a rational expression, a fraction equal to a fraction. You guys have seen this step before. You guys remember doing like A over B equals C over D? Remember this? These, the means, equal the extremes. So, B times C should equal A times D. These two are equal to each other. So, basically it's cross multiplying. Okay? So, what we're going to do is, we're going to take 3 times 4x plus 5. And you have to use parentheses. Well, we get it wrong. This times this equals this times this. So equals 9 times x plus 1. After that, it's normal. You're just solving like normal. So it's kind of a, a fairly easy section in a way because it's just solving. So 12x plus 15 equals 9x plus 9. Just distributive property here. So solve it like normal. Minus 9x on both sides. 3x plus 15 equals 9 minus 15 minus 15 3x equals 9 minus 15 negative 6 which means x equals negative 2 if we divide by 3 okay there you go plug it in just to make sure 3 over negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 should equal 9 over this is 4 times negative 2 plus 5 so that's negative 8 plus 5 which is negative 3 so that's negative 3 and this is negative 3 check alright so this is our answer there you go so example 1 basically this is if you have a fraction equal to a fraction you cross multiply sometimes you can't do this which is the next type of example alright next example um, you're going to see an equation you can't just cross multiply. So, people see, okay, 5 over x plus 7 fourths equals negative 9 x. And people will think, you know, your first gut reaction might be to, you know, make all these the same denominator. <clears throat> you don't have to. You could do that, but you're making more work for yourself. You don't have to do that. What you want to do is you want to get rid of these fractions. You want to get rid of x, 4 of x. How do you get rid of fractions, basically? You need to find the least common denominator. <coughs> so, what's the least common denominator of x and 4? 4x. Okay, because if you factor x, you can't. So, it's just x. If you factor 4, that's 2 squared. But still, there you circle the highest degree of each factor. Well, okay, that's the only one. And that's the only one. You put them together, and that's 4x. Okay, so... <coughs> The LCD equals 4x. Therefore, what do you do with that 4x? You multiply the whole equation by the LCD. That's the goal. So 4x times everything on the inside. And when you do that, it does something. It, it cancels out every fraction that you have if you find the right LCD. If you find the wrong LCD, it's not going to cancel out all the fractions. So that's why we want this thing right here because look when we multiply this times the first fraction what happens the x and the x cancel out because this is like 4x over 1 so x on top x on the bottom x is cancel and what are you left with you're left with negative 9 and 4 up top and 1 down below so this becomes negative 9 times 4 which is negative 36 oops 36 Okay, now we take this times the next fraction, 4x times 7 fourths. What happens here? Well, there's a 4 down below, and there's a 4 up top. So you cancel the 4s. Boom, boom. I don't want to cancel this one because then you might think it cancels for the next one, but it doesn't. So 4 cancels, 4 cancels. What are you left with? 7 up top, x up top, 1 down below. So therefore... 7x. 
And lastly, 4x times 5 over x. The x on the bottom cancels out. Notice everything on the bottom cancels out if you got the right LCD. If x cancels and x cancels, you're left with 5 times 4, which is 20. Now look at that equation. You're left with an easy equation, really. But you have to find the LCD, so write that down. If you have, you know, longer equations looking like this, find the LCD. Then, oops, then multiply uh, the whole equation by the LCD. Okay? That's all you do. You're left with a normal, so minus 20, minus 20. 7x equals, what's this, negative 56, and then divide by 7, x equals negative 8. You want to check that out, make sure it works, negative, you know, 5, negative 5 eighths, plus 7 fourths, and put negative 8 here, that's 9 eighths. Just type that in your calculator, 5, negative 5 eighths, plus 7 fourths, enter. Math frack, and it'll show you that this will be your answer. So <clears throat> just check it just to make sure there could be extraneous. That is a possibility. So um, be ready for that. Okay? Example two is done. So multiply by the LCD.